Around the bend, across the pond, off the beaten path, there's a lot of ways to say you're going places, but only one SUV that helps you get there as a family. The newly redesigned Hyundai Santa Fe, the SUV made for getting out there and doing more together. So take the scenic route because the Santa Fe is equipped with available H-Track all-wheel drive to help you get off the paved road a little further together. And it has a suite of intuitive safety features for taking it around the bend with more peace of mind. Plus, you'll stay comfortable wherever you're headed with the Santa Fe's available premium Napa leather seating, generous room for five and sophisticated interior styling get out there and find new adventures together in the new hyundai santa fe learn more about the santa fe by going to hyundaiusa.com what's up guys welcome back to views today we're here with charlie and dixie and jason nash what a great pairing. <laughs> uh, before, three we, names that are synonymous. <laughs> the three of us. Three biggest names in entertainment. Um, before you guys came in here, we were going to do this whole bit because you guys walked in with a security guard. Um, so we are going to do this whole bit where we are going to test to see how good your security was. Jason was going to pull out these nunchucks and then Joe was going to pull out a gun and he was going to shoot. He was going to shoot Jason with a paintball gun three times, but your team like vetoed it and we didn't want to tell Joe. So he still pulled out the gun. <laughs> but but then we thought it'd be a be uh, good idea just to just to completely get rid of that bit as a whole. But so. like a minute before we started, I ran over to Joe and I was like, "Did you get the text?" And he's like, "No, I don't have my phone." <laughs> <laughs> Am I still shooting you? And he's like, "No." <laughs> Don't shoot it me. Like, it was like a text from Natalie, like, it's a hard no. <laughs> Do not pull out gun. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. But you did walk in with one security guard, which is normal. That makes sense. But my question is, how do you, who, who does he protect? There's two of you. Does it go by followers? Does it go by, <laughs> is it engagement or is yeah. it who has the better post that day? Yeah, whoever posts the most for that week gets security. So who's getting security right now? Um, I think Charlie, yeah. Hell yeah. So, so Dixie, if, some, if someone comes running at you. I'm fucked. You're fucked. Sorry, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, right on. Well, guys, if you're watching this, Dixie, uh, Dixie's the easy target if you want to kidnap her. But you're, you're the badass out of the two anyway, right? Sort of. 100%. <laughs> what I mean, are you? compared to me, anyone's a badass, so. Right. Yeah. I feel like. I've only cried on live once, so. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it like five times. Dixie, we met, we met a while ago. Mm -hmm. Why are you making that face? No. Bro, these two walked in here so <laughs> fucking nervous. Yeah. And they still kind of are, but like, you guys walked in here. Didn't make a, a single sound. Like, not a sound. What, why? Okay, so, you know, like, we group. Wait, FaceTime. Dixie, the mic. Put it you closer to your mic. closer, yeah. <laughs> so, Dixie's like, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we gotta get our boom mic. So, we group FaceTime last night, and then after our FaceTime, Charlie and I FaceTime, and we were both freaking out. Like, and we both met you before, but we were freaking out. Wait, what? You're David Dobrik. We grew up, like, watching you. Like, I watched you every day before school. Like, I've oh. seen all of your vlogs. That's the sweetest thing. I just can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> it was so funny because we have to, like, book celebs for the show. And, like, it's so hard booking people. Wait, what was that face? <laughs> but you guys aren't... We're TikTokers. No. Okay. I was going to say that, too, because that's something I have, like, a serious problem with. You guys are actual celebs. And I know, I know, I know you don't want to say it, but that's what you guys are. I'll get into that later. Anyway, we got to book celebs for the show, and, like, we'll be on the phone with their, like, manager and their publicist. And it was so funny because uh, I texted you guys. I was like, are you guys around tomorrow? And you and Charlie, you just group FaceTimed us, and Charlie's like fixing her hair. She's like, she's a, uh, Dixie's like, are you free tomorrow, Char? And she's like, well, I'm just gonna have to ask mom, but I think I'm good. <laughs> it's such a casual approach. But you came over with Addison, Dixie, and you guys were, Addison told me this, I didn't know this, but um, when you guys went to the bathroom, like you guys were playing it super cool in front of us. But then Addison said when you guys went to the bathroom, you guys had like a freak out that you guys were there. I, I didn't know like how to act. I was absolutely losing my mind. Are you fucking serious? I was like, I was freaking out. When we were, when we were all hanging out, we went to like Sal Ranch or whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was crazy. Addison was just like, we never told you this because we were embarrassed. But we went into the bathroom and we just had like a little panic attack. <laughs> Joe and I did that when we came over to your house for the first yeah, time. Yeah, when you guys, yeah. holy shit. We <laughs> went to the bathroom and held hands. Look at David. What are you guys doing for school right now? I graduated high school. 
Charlie? Do you want the actual answer? The answer that my parents the, want everyone else to hear. The, the one everyone to hear. Um, right now, I'm working a lot, so it's obviously hard to fit everything in. <laughs> <laughs> now, give me, now give me the bullshit one. I'm failing every class. <laughs> but, but it's not my fault. I didn't know. I thought it was like a flexible school where I didn't have to like... Try. I'm doing an extreme <laughs> school curriculum, so it's like six classes a day. And I, I just... That's normal. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I'm also That's working a full time no, she's job. Working, she's working more than any anybody her age. So we're figuring out the new school thing. But I, I, I was trying really, really hard, and things just kind of got a little bit ahead of me, as as it did with most kids who are doing online school right now. So I was talking to my brother. He does online school. He's I don't know. 11, he's 11 years old. I don't know. I said I don't know. And I was like, I was so curious on like how he makes friends. And they just moved to a brand new. Like they just moved to California. But like all my siblings are starting a new school, but it's all on Zoom. So I was like, how the hell do you make any friends? And he was like, well, I just met this guy named Rishi. And um, I've hung out with him twice. And I was like, how did you meet him? And he's like, well, don't tell our mom. But um, uh, Rishi just emailed a bunch of people. And I just ended up responding to him and was like, I'm down to hang out because I just needed a friend. And I was like, is he in your class? And he's like, no, he goes to a different school. But I told our mom that I met him in Zoom class because I didn't want her to get mad at me. That's crazy. Like, that's, that's how Rishi's so 35. <laughs> Rishi's 35. <laughs> It's so strange. And as he was telling me this story, I'm like writing in my notes for the podcast. I'm like, tells mom he met him in class and he's over my shoulder and he goes, why are you writing this down? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, dang it, busted. Uh, but I think that's so crazy that the Zoom school makes no sense to me. I have to do Zoom PE. Oh, actually, what? How does I don't, Zoom PE I work? Don't do it on, I, don't do, I don't do it on Zoom. I don't have a teacher, but like I have to do requirements for PE. But, like, no one's watching. Yeah, so my kids, they don't have Zoom to. PE? What do you mean? You have to do push-ups in front of your laptop? No, they, they ask you. They go, did you do the push-ups? And then my kids go, yeah, we did it. Oh, but they don't. But my, my brother, I shouldn't say this because he'll get in trouble. But, like, you know you can cheat on tests, right? But, yeah. like, the way they do it is if is if you're cheating on your own computer, they can they can notice that on Zoom. Like, they can see that you're visiting another website or something that you're cheating. So he'll have his iPad in his lap, and he's put a... A clear. A cl you can say this. <laughs> yeah, I can. He's eleven. What is he gonna get in trouble for? And and he cheating. put he, cheating. <laughs> and he, he gets put, expelled from his new school because of you. Okay, maybe I'll just bleep out what I just said. <laughs> but he he puts a clear tape over his camera. Yeah. So it looks like his camera's blurry. So his teachers have no idea what's going on. And like wow. that's so cool because the teacher can't be like, go buy a better camera because that'd mm -hmm. just be like so insensitive of the teacher yeah. like assuming that he has enough money to buy a new camera. So he just like. Like, pretends his camera's busted in order so like the teacher doesn't know what he's doing. Toby's crafty. Um, oh, he's, he's crazy. He's so creative, man. Wow. He's meeting friends on email. <laughs> the guy's so out of his time. Jay, how do you keep yourself so well fed? Oh, I stuff my face every night. I can tell, but I know damn well you're using HelloFresh. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> HelloFresh offers convenient, contact-free delivery right to your doorstep for easy home cooking with the family. Or you can pretend you have a family and just cook it all for yourself like Jay does. The recipes are easy to follow and quick to make with steps and pictures to guide you along the way. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. They offer over 23 recipes featuring a range of flavors, cuisines, and ingredients so you'll never get bored. And there's something for everyone, including weekly low calorie calorie, vegetarian, and family-friendly recipes. By skipping the grocery store, you're reducing your food waste by at least 25%. HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients so you're not overbuying, which is a burden on the planet and your wallet. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. That's amazing. Mm. Did you say I pretend to have a family? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just so you get more food in you. I have a family. Yeah, I know, but I know you just don't feed I them. Just because I eat a lot doesn't mean I don't feed them too. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Views10 and use code Views10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. That's 10 free meals and free shipping at HelloFresh.com slash Views10 and use code Views10. What is the craziest money you've ever made? I'm not saying amount, but I'm just saying like, like I'll give you my example. I was, I got a call once and this kid was having a 16th birthday party. And this guy's like, hey, this family wants you out there. They have $10,000 in cash. Can you just show up? And I was like, fuck yeah. Like it was in Glendale. I had to drive up like 25 minutes to go to this kid's birthday for two hours. Jay, you remember? Yeah, I remember. Jay was with me and Jay yeah. just came for free because he's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and we were 
there and 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 we were there for like an hour and a half and i was like i was mm-hmm. just gonna go and i'm gonna go now thank you for having me and, and they were so sweet and then the dad walks up to him and he's like can you just stay for 30 more minutes i got four thousand more dollars i'll just give it to you real quick and he slid it into my hand and i was like fucking great <laughs> and i stayed there for another for another 40 minutes and another hour and then he kept coming back up until i made like twenty four thousand dollars that <laughs> night that was the craziest like craziest yeah. paycheck i've ever i've ever gotten for something so stupid so there's this <laughs> well the funny thing is is this about <laughs> they, do, do they have they... so many deals they have to <laughs> okay, okay. check with each other okay. is this american so eagle or lululemon american. yeah <laughs> so there was this guy that said hey we'll pay oh. you x amount of money to do a call with my kids and i was like i can't do that i'm sorry like i'm if i'm not meeting your kids in person like it just feels wrong of me to like take your money and like right. i just don't feel comfortable doing that we actually ended up running into them and the dad was feeling very excited to just hand us stacks of cash <laughs> and um half of it was like canadian US dollars cash. and half of it was canadian cash and i i like i it felt so weird because we went yeah. up to their hotel room this guy was like follow me just come up to your ho- to our hotel room i have cash so and, we went and of course but <laughs> it was it was with, it was with my mom and my my friend's mom so it wasn't like and this we is a guy safe. this is a guy that reached out to you before yeah. so it wasn't like some complete stranger yeah right, yeah right and we went up and met his kids and he gave us cash. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Well, you stuck to your principles, Charlie. Okay. You waited. Yeah, I, but I felt I felt a lot better because I did want to meet them in person. Yeah. I, was, I like I followed her, and she's super cute. She's what I've realized with like doing this is those people like will be offended if you don't take their money. When I met them, it wasn't nearly as much as they like had offered me. But I was like, For dude, I don't Zoom. care. Like if I, if I met your kids, like I would make a video with them. Like I have no problem with that. That's what I do. That's why I'm here. Like, I don't know. It just feels so weird. That when I watch, like, especially when you guys, like, first started blowing up the most, and before the pandemic, when you guys were, like, out and about everywhere, like, the most exhausting thing was when people would come up to you, they wouldn't just ask for a picture. They'd ask for a full-blown fucking TikTok. Mm. And I was like, dude, I'm so happy that I didn't come up on a platform <laughs> where, like, I have to do, like, 30 TikTok dances a day. And you're such fucking good sports about it. I've seen you do the Renegade on maybe <laughs> 3,000 different accounts. Mm-hmm. Like, it's uh, – including mine. I have asked you <laughs> to do the Renegade. Like, it's – yeah. How do you do How do you do that? You just – you're just like, I got to do it. I mean, that's kind of why, why I, I'm – I've been able to – get where i am so it's like right what are you gonna do say no it's like they made you two in a factory (laughs) you guys are too sweet the craziest paparazzi video i've ever seen of you guys i'm sorry i'm bringing this up but it's it's i just think it's so funny because the guy was crazy he goes oh my god you're beautiful Am I? Am, do you yeah. Know? That was fucking insane. <laughs> I was so butt hurt for the rest of the night. I was like, that was so mean. Charlie, that, that, that shouldn't have gotten to you because that guy was insane. He goes, he goes, he goes, uh, what does he say? He, goes, he says to my mom, he says, oh, you're so beautiful. No one gives a fuck who you are. And I was like, <laughs> no, but it's like, it's, he goes, oh my God, you're so beautiful. And then as she's saying, thank you, like he cuts her off at the you and he goes, no one gives a fuck. And it's like, <laughs> what like, the hell? Wow. It's like crazy. I talked about it probably like five times that night. Yeah, you were upset. So I was like, That's I can't so believe hard. you said that to me. I've seen you on like Hollywood Fix and stuff and you're always just firing it away. Yeah. You're always saying whatever, which is great. That's why you guys are such an interesting duo. It's like, you guys are literally fire and ice. <laughs> like you got like Charlie's just the sweet one and then, and then Dixie's the one that comes from the back be like, no, fuck you. <laughs> like I it's feel like, like that's my job as an older sister to kind of be like the punching bag a little bit so i'd rather take it than her i mean i was going through my saved tiktoks from the beginning of tiktok and there was so many comments of tiktoks made about me that were like hate tiktoks and dixie's just like hey like shut up you can't say that like that's my sister like that's, that's so messed up there was like 30 of them and i'm glad she doesn't do that anymore right yeah. are there moments where you have to calm dixie down like where oh. she gets fired up and she's like i'm about to whip somebody's ass <laughs> there's been a lot of times where i've had to be like like it's fine like we're good i'm okay mm-hmm. but she's a big sister that's her job if, mm-hmm. if i didn't have that i think i would be a very different person wow that's really sweet dixie actually got your gift i know that you're on the aggressive side 
And I know that, no, that's not that bad. I bought you your own sword. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it'd be perfect because, you know, you, you, you have a lot of people. You got to protect your sister. You got to protect the yeah. family. You terrify me. <laughs> huh? It's not really real, but. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Charlie, I also got you this because I didn't want you to feel left out. I got you some slime. <gasps> Wait, do you want to know what I was doing before I got here? What? Playing with Orbeez. Like, this is my favorite. I love stuff like this. We called your people to see, like, what you guys liked. And and Christian was like... A sword? <laughs> <laughs> the sword was my touch. But Christian was like, yeah, Charlie just loves slime. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And he's like, yeah, I mean, she's... She's 16. I, like, I guess you're right. <laughs> what do you guys think when, like, uh, you go out to dinner and the Hollywood fix is there? That's or, like, so I, one time funny. I saw a video of you, Charlie. It was like you were just eating for, like, 35 <laughs> minutes. I didn't watch the whole thing. Bro, the great... It, it was just you eating. It's just Charlie downing, like, a, a chicken sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it gets, like, pretty good views, actually. Yeah. Oh, better than my videos. Bro, it, it, it does. <laughs> yeah. It does, like, twice your videos. There was a time over the summer, because we know Fletcher a little bit. He's a nice guy. Yeah, like, he he's is. super Oh, sweet. I remember this. There was a time over the summer where where he was doing a lot of videos of the Hype House and you guys, and we were all like, we should just stop making videos. Hold on, not we were all like, Jason and Joe. <laughs> Jason and Joe were like, yo, you wanna go stand outside Sal Ranch and record people, walking, record people eating? And like, it's crazy how you could yeah. like do that now. Like, that's like, that's like, if I first moved to LA, like, I'm thinking about it like logically and I wanted to get like my YouTube career started. I'd be a kid right outside of Sad Ranch and just sure. waiting for Charlie or Dixie to walk by and I'd crack a joke and be and use them as my thumbnail. It's just so crazy how like that's like the new thing now. It's mm -hmm. like when's the last time you guys were grounded? I've only been grounded once. I don't really do anything to get grounded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I of get course. that. My kids, they don't, they've never been grounded. Right. That's the most ridiculous thing. I've never heard of that. Yeah. What did you do to get grounded? I snuck out of the house. Oh, that's not even that bad. It was like, I didn't even do anything wrong, but I think my parents just like, they let's be to. parents yeah. for once. Right. At this right. point, at this point, now you guys are doing so well. Are you guys able to ground your parents? Definitely not. I no, mean, we I still get in trouble yeah, every day. No, we, yeah? we get in trouble. It's just like now, what are they going to do? Like, take they can't my take phone? our phones. Like, that's, right. that's how I work. <laughs> we're going to ruin yeah. my business. And that was really the only thing that they did. Charlie, give me your phone. Yeah, well, then how are we going to pay rent this month? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you know how I empower you. You always build me up, always say things like, Jay, you look good you're today. the man. Well, Squarespace empowers millions of dreamers, makers, and doers by providing them with the tools they need to bring their creative ideas to life. On Squarespace's all-in-one platform, you can build a website, claim a domain, sell online, and market a brand. Their products combine award-winning design and world-class engineering, making it easier than ever to establish and own your online presence. From beautiful templates to powerful e-commerce tools, they help customers launch their ideas into the world to build their brand. Squarespace tools are DIY in nature, meaning anyone can learn about, use, or create them without technical expertise. Guys, if you're trying to come up with any kind of website, Squarespace is the most simple way to do it. You can use Squarespace's marketing tools and integrations to help drive traffic to your site or grow your brand. You can gain powerful insights about your site's visitors and how they interact with your content with their in-depth website analytics tool. Squarespace has everything you need to grow online. You can start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. It's so simple to create a website. It's never been this easy, Jay. When you create a website with Squarespace, you get free unlimited hosting, top of the line security, and dependable resources to help you succeed. Nothing to patch or upgrade literally ever and 24 seven award-winning customer support. Check out squarespace.com slash views for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code views to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Your, uh, your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Oh. Your boyfriend, Noah. Mm-hmm. Well, say it. You're already laughing. <laughs> that he's obsessed with you? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. He, okay. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. I have some of his DMs that he's DM'd me. <laughs> <laughs> November 11th. <laughs> hey, I'm in LA if you ever want to hang out. December 24th. Yo, January 4th. Hey, J January 9th. Did you just feel that earthquake? <laughs> Crazy. Hope you're safe. <laughs> January 17th. Still in LA if you're free. Wait, are these real? January 23rd. <laughs> hey man, saw someone in a Tesla and it made me think of you. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> January 30th. You've seen the new WandaVision episode yet? <laughs> okay, these aren't real. Oh, damn it, that, was, that one wasn't dated correctly, Natalie. <laughs> oh, damn it, yeah. I totally believe that. They were pretty good, though, like, huh? I was thinking, uh, I was like, why didn't he unsend them? <laughs> <laughs> why did he keep all these off? Hold on, let me read another one. <laughs> January 1st. 
I carved mine in Dixie's name in a tree, but you guys had the same initials, so don't tell her, but it's meant for you. <laughs> <laughs> he actually did really send this one just now. It's, I heard Dixie's coming on the show today. I'll be outside in the car if you want to come get me. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, I really thought that was real. I was like, oh, poor thing. No way he would ever do that. I've only seen one DM from him. And I, and I was going to respond, but like I just didn't know what to say. I got nervous, honestly. Oh. Well, he's like obsessed with you, both of you guys. Really? Oh. Like when you notice him, yeah. like when I guess you guys did something in, in the kitchen and you said his name, he like freaked out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. You said his name in the kitchen? Yeah, he, he, he walked in and I was like, yo, Noah, back. <laughs> I was like, whoa. And he was like, oh, my God. Can't <laughs> He was like, I can't believe Jason Nash knows who I am. Damn, Jay, how fucking cool is that? That younger people think you're cool? Oh, you want to hear something nice. really They're all cool? nice kids. What happened? So um, a few years before I started TikTok, you guys were doing the Views tour. And I went to New York, and I went to the one that you went to in New York. And mm. I got the shirt, and I wore that in some of like my first Wait, ever TikToks. Wait, what? <laughs> Which yeah. one? In the Little Room? Um, wait, wait, Charlie, exactly you went to a view show? Was. Yeah, and I had a shirt with your two faces on it. Wow. Get the fuck out of here. So Shit, swear jar. You were, <laughs> Really? You came to the actual show? Oh, I didn't know it was like that at all. I Charlie, thought you how were, bad I thought was, that was it? The only, I, I thought you were just How bad to, was it? Be honest. No, I thought it was really funny. <laughs> okay. My friend took me. It was super, super cool. Oh, I got so you're just shirt. doing it as a favor. No, I mean, I watched. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone if I didn't care. <laughs> What? But I thought that I thought that was funny. Dixie, did you watch any of uh, any of our stuff, or did you, you? I watched the vlogs, not podcasts. So, did you listen to the podcast? No, I just liked you guys. Wow, and now you're here. Yep. <laughs> that's great, Charlie. Can I Dixie, borrow? What was that face? Like you're regretting this shit. <laughs> so scared. <laughs> Charlie, that's really great. Can I borrow one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars? <laughs> <laughs> you owe us for that show. <laughs> you dance with your idol. Which is really cool, Jennifer Lopez. Um, I didn't want to bring this up, but I actually did. Uh, I did a campaign with Jennifer Lopez, <laughs> so I'm, I have, I've also worked with Jennifer Lopez. I sound a little jealous. No, I'm not jealous. I'm just I'm just letting you know that I was. I also did some. I went. You know, I actually went to the Super Bowl with her. Yeah, but she danced. She danced with her at like, the Super like, Bowl like, last year. That sounds yeah. like work to me. I was just there <laughs> enjoying the Super Bowl. So if it, it's I just, mean, next time, next time we do our, our like weekly. Brunch, we, we can. With J Lo, yeah. Can, yeah. We have like meetings we'll with you. You have a weekly meeting with J Lo? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but oh she, did God. you see she wrote about me for my Time 100 Next article? Dude. What did she say? She Charlie's said, a bitch. really no, no, she was so nice. And she's actually. <laughs> J Lo? That's her one quote for Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Charlie. Was, she so... wrote a lot. She wrote a lot. I was actually, when I saw that, I was like, there's no way that this is real. But that was really cool. Do you understand that? Like, do you guys get that? That you guys are like household names now like isn't that weird i don't think about it because it scares me it, yeah sometimes i get that like people are talking about me and i'm not there and they're talking about me behind my back and that's really weird and i don't want that to happen or they're like people have pictures of me in their phone and that creeps me out sometimes oh really yeah oh, but is... it's only when i like really think about it or I'm like, like whoa this is so weird someone dressing up as you for halloween yeah that's that the cr that was out. the craziest what yeah when, when, when we noticed that too the people would, how many people dressed up as you for halloween i mean it's not that it's not that hard i look like every other girl with brown hair they just bring a dunkin donuts cup <laughs> yeah but that's still like they're still trying to go out as you that's pretty insane um, I'm write it down for my costume next year <laughs> dunkin, dunkin donuts, donuts cup yeah. so renegade have you guys ever gotten this when someone comes up to you does anybody ever go you're my biggest fan does anybody ever say That's that? That's happened before. I catch and they... that all the time. <laughs> like someone will always walk up and be like, you're my biggest fan. And because they'll just I've get nervous. And I think it's the funniest thing. And I never correct anybody because I just feel bad. And I'm just like, yeah, I am your biggest fan. <laughs> That's happened to you? That's happened to me. Okay, good. Have you ever had in the criers? Like Wait, kids crying? Whenever... Yeah, oh. I've seen kids cry around Whenever here. people start crying in front of me, I just kind of go like, I yeah. just tell him to stop. Crying. It's okay. Like it's. I'm really like. It's. Uh, I do TikTok. Sorry, not that big of a deal. Just that... please don't cry. It makes me sad. You guys are like the new version of like the Nickelodeon and Disney stuff. You guys don't give yourselves enough credit, and I hate that. And I, like really, truly, like I bring you guys up in meetings all the time. Like when I'm like breaking down like how social media works. Like I always talk about how like you have like your big productions up here, you have your movies, and then you have YouTube, which is like even more stripped down. And then you have Instagram stories, which is even more stripped down. Like I think people wanna see more and more raw and authentic moments. And then you have TikTok, and then you have what you guys do, which is so stripped down and so authentic that it's literally you guys in your bedroom, like no script, nothing. You guys are just having a good time, what everybody does. And that's why people love it, because it's just 
so fucking real and so easy to relate to. You guys do not give yourselves enough credit for doing what you do. And and yeah. Yeah, and you're so good. Like when when I see you in your Hollywood fix videos, you like totally let it fly. And you're just like, yeah, I don't know. I just got mad, so I just stopped posting. <laughs> and it's like, wow. Dixie, why haven't you been posting? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've just been watching a movie and just hanging out. Like, That's like the best part of you. Like I really appreciate that about you. Yeah. I wish I could be that unfltered. Be like, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't feeling good that day. Yeah. <laughs> I tried well, my best. Also, yeah. paparazzi doesn't approach you that often. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> but when they do, I'll be ready. I'm full of Dixie. <laughs> I'm full of Dixie. Go fuck yourself, Hollywood fix. <laughs> what would you want to do in like 10, I don't know, 15 years? Where would you want to be? Dixie probably wants to run a small branch of the military. <laughs> <laughs> With my sword. <laughs> With her sword. Uh, uh, I know it's like the stupidest question and um, it's so hard. No, I I think that this is actually a great question because if you had asked me this, <laughs> what are we in a pause? Yeah, I was oh, gonna say. Because if you had asked me answer. this, <laughs> thank <laughs> you, Judge David. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you asked me this two years ago, I would have said, "Well, I want to be a backup dancer for J Lo." So obviously, in that time, yeah, you got to do the it. The opportunities have changed. Like, I genuinely have no idea what my life could be like mm. in ten this is years. A stupid question, actually, because when I was your age, I didn't know anything. Yeah, so I mean, I could whether it's still being a backup dancer for whoever or owning my own businesses and owning my own companies or the worst part is charlie i hate to break this news to you but no one's ever going to want want you to be their backup dancer because you will literally steal the show i think, <laughs> if, I think at this point that dream has right. completely completely sailed hey, I could, if i, I was an art if i was an artist and you were my backup dancer i'd get so fucking jealous <laughs> <laughs> i'd be over here singing and everyone's recording you would be like fuck this bitch <laughs> get her off stage i have these headphones um charlie since you're not an adult i want you to put these on a noise canceling we're gonna talk to dixie about some more adult stuff so maybe you want to put those on real quick you can't hear anything right no 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 how did you hear that <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna play some music for charlie okay there we go so dixie be honest charlie charlie's an asshole right <laughs> 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 Damn it, the music wasn't playing. <laughs> um, okay, I have another question for you. <clears throat> this one's this one's really important. <clears throat> if you oh, could no. <laughs> hold on, hey, chill. Don't fucking look under my desk. <laughs> it, uh, if you could be granted one wish, what would it be? <laughs> I don't want to say because it's not gonna be the same. <laughs> what would the wish be, Charlie? <laughs> I forgot what I put. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's one wish. If you could be if you could be granted oh, one Oh, 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 is it is it to teleport or time travel? No! <laughs> Not according to your book. <laughs> you said if I could be granted one wish, it would be that the kind people of the world would all rise to the top and spread their kindness widely. I believe in karma 100. I'm going to teleport. You, you've changed your answer? Yeah. You're like, this is Wait, I thought you meant like... I thought you meant like magical powers. I said what the, this is. It's under Charlie trivia in your book, and it's if I could be granted one wish. Oh, I wish I could teleport. This is crazy. Jason and I were reading through this. You didn't even notice. But I have your sticker on my laptop. Did you notice? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I, I also wrote that like almost a full year ago. My life. Charlie, has you wrote this. <laughs> Dixie wants I to know why her sticker isn't there. Yeah. There was not a Dixie sticker. There's no Dixie stickers in the essentially. Charlie Make a book. book. No. Ask Charlie if she's read the whole book. I, well, <laughs> read the whole book. It's not even okay. if she wrote the book. Can I can I tell you yeah. how I wrote it? So I was on a call with. The woman, so I didn't actually physically write it. I said the words, she wrote it down, and then she put it in book form. That's how it happened. That's impressive. It went on for a few days, and I was just like talking, and she would ask me questions, and I'd be like, "Yeah." That's no. how everybody. That's how everybody writes these books. Is like, is like, there's someone dictating, and that's really good because then you can get all your thoughts out, and they just record it, and then they write it down. Because if I were to write it, it would it would come out like I like too weird social media <laughs> and posting <coffee>. good, <laughs> posting good, make me happy. <laughs> J Lo, nice backup dancer, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's great. I, I, I met, I, I have a couple friends that I've, I've asked. I was like, how much of it did you write? And he's like, right, I haven't fucking read the title. <laughs> like, I, like, there's a lot of people that have written these books. That, I actually like, did have to go through and proofread everything because sometimes when I was on like the call with the woman, like telling her everything that I wanted in it. I was like, wait, ooh, we can't put that in there. So I had to go through like a bunch of times right, right. to make sure that- Cut out all the Dixie sucks. All, <laughs> yeah. all the, Dixie's a horrible sister. It's yeah. like, do you ever get in fights with Dixie? And that's like 10 chapters of the book. <laughs> sure. like, let me tell you. Yeah, to cut it out. Yeah, no, this is sick. Look at this. This is such a late night thing of me to do. Go buy Charlie's new book. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jay, since the pandemic hit, my home has really become my work. I mean, I got my studio in here. And if you're a business owner or a people manager, home might also be where you do your hiring. That's where ZipRecruiter comes in. ZipRecruiter makes hiring faster and easier because you can do it all from one convenient place. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash Nash. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And by the way, I asked, they use the word Nash just because it's less letters. Okay. <laughs> Well, no, no, if no. That ma- makes you feel better. No matter where you're hiring from, ZipRecruiter does the work for you. ZipRecruiter's matching technology scans thousands of resumes and profiles to send you the most qualified people for your job. That's how we found Natalie. If you're really interested in a candidate, you can even invite them to apply for your job. With one click, ZipRecruiter sends them an email from you, and you stand out from the competition. It's no wonder that four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash Nash. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash N-A-S-H. All you need is Wi-Fi to try it for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Nash. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to higher thanks for being a part of that one all right guys charlie and dixie had to go so we brought in the b team the the e team Uh, the h team todd and natalie (laughs) (laughs) every kid in america what the fuck (laughs) where did charlie and dixie go (laughs) who are these assholes there's like 17 tvs and laptops just broken god damn it (laughs) guys we were with todd and natalie quite possibly the cutest hottest couple couple ever the sexiest couple ever and the coolest and the funniest couple that's, around i would just say the sexiest I wouldn't, cool. I wouldn't even go past and do the rest of that but I, I would leave it at that for sure todd how is it walking around with such a hot babe like natalie all the time oh my god this is <laughs> the <laughs> nicest day it's ever been to me let's eat this moment up tell just him like todd. Right under my shoulder it, it, it makes you look better it's crazy it makes me look way better but can you protect her that's what i'm talking about like, yeah of course you could keep mentally her mentally and physically jay pretend her. you're an attacker and todd you you <laughs> show me how you would protect <laughs> am i about to get shot with a paintball gun no <laughs> 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 it was really funny because I was going to tell you to do it and then I was like I don't feel like getting shot <laughs> well let's just pretend I, Fuck! Oh, I don't want to get out and get shot Jay you'll be the attacker and then Todd okay Todd, Todd show me how you look oh, oh shit oh, shit. oh, oh my god Little did you know, Jay, Todd has got defense all around here, bro. And that looks like it fucking blew your back out. Fucked up. <laughs> like nice, bl- Joe. But next time, remember I told you aim between the eyebrows. <laughs> oh, no. It's all blue. Fuck. The chair? No, 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 no. no. It's fine. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Well, Jay, you fuck me. Yell at Jay. Oh, my <laughs> God. Hey, 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 shoot him again. Hey, you fucking ruined it. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I've got to take it off. I know, but I just don't trust your fingers. We get pissed at Jason for bleeding on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> don't you fucking dare bleed on our white couch. He's bleeding out, guys. Go ahead, I fucking knew it. I was like, let's do it to Todd. And then I was like, fuck, I don't want to get shot. Yeah, Joe and I were secretly going to shoot you, but I knew the second I, I said, Jay, you be the attacker, I knew it was going to trigger something in your head. <laughs> I knew you were going to go like, fuck the paintball. J- Jay, right when I said, Jay, be the attacker, he locked eyes with Joe's pocket, and inside you could just see the handle of the gun sticking out. Todd, Natalie, you guys both have had your fair share of relationships. How does this what? one do? What do you mean? Yeah, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Nat, you've had other relationships. Oh, yeah, but not my fair share. I'm no Todd, okay? Yeah, Todd, you've had the most. (laughs) You've been with someone else? Todd, how does this relationship differ than the rest? It's... (laughs) Ew, why don't you ask this in front of me? <laughs> well, first even of all, Tom? Well, it's even just weird to hear that. Uh, it's, uh, first of all, it's completely different than any other relationship I had. This one's better. Ten times better. Do you miss <laughs> invading their relationship like you used to when you were vlogging? I never really invaded their relationship. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? I mean, you, you literally about? exposed <laughs> it. You're the reason why Remember, it, like, yeah, it really yeah. came to life. Remember the giant billboard on Melrose? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was Natalie's idea. <laughs> oh, what? It wasn't my idea. It was Aaron's idea. Oh, yeah. It was Aaron's idea <laughs> Aaron's to put idea. the billboard up. But Natalie showed us the text. Yeah, then I condoned it after I thought it was, oh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. And then, oh, yeah. That's what got them to start dating. That's so funny. So, 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 okay. So that's what happened. Have we ever told this? I don't know. So, so, so the reason Todd and Natalie started dating is obviously Todd was always crushing on Natalie. And Natalie was like, I'm too good for Todd. <laughs> she was playing that whole thing for a while. And then, and then uh, we had this idea for this billboard because Todd texted Natalie super drunk. Honestly. But, but the texts were pretty funny and embarrassing. So we're like, let's put it up on a billboard. And we had to wait like a month for the billboard to go up. Right. Mm-hmm. And we finally got word that the billboard was going up on a day that Todd 
Todd was in Florida. Boston. Oh, he was in Boston. He was in Boston. Sorry. <laughs> he's, a, he's a world traveler. I don't know where. <laughs> so, so, uh, so Natalie had to call Todd and was like, because we didn't want anybody to tweet him the billboard. Mm-hmm. So we had to get him there that morning that the billboard came up. So Natalie had to call Todd and was like, you got to get over here, come by. And Todd was like, I'm not flying from Boston. Like, I, my flight will get there in two days. Like, give me two more days and I'll be there. Yeah. And she's like, no, you need to come now. And then yeah. it got to the point where Natalie... And Natalie had to agree to go on a date with Todd. Well, coincidentally, <laughs> Todd loves the Ducks, yeah. the hockey team. And coincidentally, the Ducks and the Kings, which are two L.A. rival teams, were playing. It's like the perfect, <laughs> perfect scenario. Like, I don't know how it could have been any more perfect. Right. And I was like, but the Ducks and the Kings are playing. Do you want to go on a date? Yeah. Like, it'd be so And cute. then Todd fucking booked the flight <laughs> right away. Right back to L.A. It was crazy. So it was literally, she went on this date. That wasn't even like a real date. It was just to get him here. And then they <laughs> fell in love at the Ducks game. Not only Todd, I, this is Todd's first time I mean, hearing the like, story. It wasn't a real date. I'm like, I'm like wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Not only did I fly home, I missed my original flight and had to book another flight and I had to do a connecting flight, which took me like eight hours to get home. You did it all for love. Pretty all much in love. the ducks. Damn, I guess I guess, <laughs> the ducks. <laughs> the ducks. I guess that I guess that goes to show like uh uh, persistence is key. Persistency. Persistency. Consistency. Persistence. No, persistence. Being persistent, you really? get it right. Yeah. He was persistent, not consistent. What's the difference? <laughs> uh, persistence is an annoying version of consistent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw the text. Come on, baby. There's two people who have found love, and obviously are going to spend the rest of their lives together. What kind of advice do you have for a guy like David who's still out there looking, looking? Yeah. How, right do you, how do you find that? How do you find the right person? You have to grow up. You have to mature a little bit. Oh, and Todd does that so well. <laughs> You just him up so <laughs> You have to grow up. You have to mature a little bit. I was gonna say, why don't you? Have <laughs> Todd dressing up as Tyler Joseph from Twenty One Pilots, four Halloweens in a row. Six. <laughs> Other than growing up a little, what is it? Well, I always liked Todd. Like I was always very attracted to Todd. Really? Wow, this is so surprising. So always, constantly. Bro, I remember when they first fucking... Dude, what are you talking about? You're attracted to Todd, Dave. That's true. <laughs> Bro, I remember when you guys first started hooking up, um, Todd was sitting next to you by the fireplace, and I was like turning off the lights of the house or the yeah. music or something. And I don't know who I was talking to. I think it was like Zane. It was or, Jay. It was Jay. It was Jay. It was, oh, you guys know this? Yeah. It was Jay, and I was like, it was like 3 a.m., yeah. and I saw you two sitting by the fireplace, and I was like, yo, Jay, Todd's still with natalie should i get todd out of there <laughs> should i go save her <laughs> <laughs> and, and jay goes oh they've been doing this for like months <laughs> and, uh, and I, go, and I go oh <laughs> what and i was so surprised and it like i don't know that was that was the craziest thing to me i was like it's been going on for months and like usually things like usually i'm like pretty caught up with everything that's happening in the front group especially with you yeah. and then yeah and then i was a huge surprise that you and todd have been hooking up and having a little fling i know i'm sorry you were the last person I wanted to tell, though. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the, you're the first person I wanted to tell. I know, literally. Have you ever heard the song Say, Say, Say by yes. Michael Jackson Love it. and Paul McCartney? So whenever I see Taylor, I say, Tay, Tay, Tay. Oh, that's where it comes from. <laughs> you never knew. I knew you didn't know. I knew she didn't know. Taylor's so interesting because she like she's always trying to like do what's best. Like She's always trying, but, like, but she always somehow messes up on accident i don't know how to put it like not always always is a strong word in like a sweet way she's like oh there's always like a misstep in some way so she knows like the one thing that i thought was so funny she told me the other day um she knows that i'm a huge fan of iron man you know as uh, as anybody so when she first started when she first started working here she wanted to like learn more about iron man Mm -hmm. so like she was you know caught up to all the iron man references that i do Mm -hmm. um so she listened to uh, a podcast about Iron Man, like, like a, a full on podcast. And she told me, it, it, she showed me 14 minutes in, 14 minutes in, she realized that it was about the race Iron Man. And it had <laughs> nothing about the triathlon. <laughs> and, it, it, and it had nothing to do with the character. It was just the Iron Man where you swim, bike, and run. <laughs> and she's like, once they like wouldn't drop the subject about running, I realized that I was in the wrong place. No, they started talking about cycling. And then I was like, wait, <laughs> what if I've been 
listening to. Iron Man doesn't cycle. And then they're like, yeah, it's crazy that people can do it. And it's like this, they like explain the entire race. Like you, you run and then right. like, swim. So you run, cycle. you swim, and you cycle. And Taylor found out that that was not one of the Avengers. <laughs> Tough to do an Iron Man. Tough to be an Avenger. Right, so sort right. of I the same thing. Yeah. Nan, I have a question. If we if we don't find the love of our lives that we're you know that we die with mm -hmm. and we just die single, do you want to be buried <laughs> together? I mean, I don't hear I'm dead. Can I jump in with you guys? <laughs> Can I jump in with you guys? I would love to be buried above ground with you, Natalie and David. Above, above ground? ground? Yeah, above ground in a mausoleum. We've talked about this. Oh, oh, oh. Is that your thing? You want to be in a mausoleum? Yeah, a mausoleum. Why? So you can walk out of it if you are mm -hmm. if you come out of the ground? <laughs> oh, so you don't want to be cremated. <laughs> Jason always says that he wants to be cremated because this is such a good point. He's like, he's scared that when he's dead in like 10 years all of a sudden he'll be born again and he'll have to fucking crawl his way out of the ground wow. that'd be the worst to be trapped in if the... you're cremated then you're never coming back well you're cremated burned. if i can't afford that's, the mausoleum no that's what that's what he's saying he's like he wants to be cremated so his body isn't just sitting there as a whole i think right. cremated would be fun for you guys where do you want us to spread your ashes malibu can I oh. smoke you? Smoke me. Do whatever you want. It's like the, it, you, smoke me up. Smoke me. You'd probably be a good high. <laughs> 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 Gross. But that would give you guys a good day. Be like, let's go scatter Jason's ashes and get some fish tacos. Yeah, no, that, that's nice. I yeah. smoke with your kids. That'd be funny. Your ashes. I smoke with <laughs> Please don't smoke me with my kids. I, I, I smoke you with your ex-wife and she's paranoid. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> she, she's having like a really bad that experience. Trip. She's like, it's, just, <laughs> it's taking her back to the marriage. I, 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 I could just feel Jason. I can just feel him disappointing me again. I just... Oh my god! What did we say the other day when we went to go get ice cream and Jason was like, "Oh, it's, it's on me." Like we, were, you know, wanted to get out and do something nice and fun, so we all went to the ice cream shop. Oh, yeah. And Jason said it was on him, so he went to go pay. And right as he was about to go pay and give the woman money, he gets like some sort of phone call from this <laughs> lady that he's been waiting all day to get a phone call from and walks away from the cash station. There's other customers trying to get their ice cream now, but she's waiting on Jason. And then I turn to David. David and I are eating our ice cream cones in the back corner of the store, pretending like we don't know who this man is. And I remember I turned to David and I was like, well, I see why Marnie left him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that what you said? Girl, she yeah. said that. Mom, Natalie said that? I was like, I was like, I stopped eating my ice cream like, and I, I wiped it away from my chin. I was like, that was fucking brutal. Write that down for the podcast. <laughs> I thought it was so bad. I was like, I can't believe she said well, this. I had so lost funny. my phone and I was getting a call from somebody who had found my phone. Oh, that yeah. was I know, I but away. it's just so funny because like in situations like that where yeah. there's like more than one thing happening for you, it's you just panic. like you panic and it just goes into this like, <laughs> I, I don't only, know what to do. <laughs> Taylor, me too. Like the Iron Man race. <laughs> <laughs> I can only do one thing at a time. It's true. Now. Now I know why Marnie left him. Wow. <laughs> We're going back to that? Wow. It's funny that she also told the story. It's funny it came from Natalie. Yeah. It's funny that like I told her to write that story for me to share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was like, I want to tell Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell Jason how much I hate him myself. It's one of those stories where it's so funny. I really love it. Yeah, you should have seen <laughs> Even it. Even though it's hurtful. I would have told you in the moment, but you were so stressed out paying for the ice cream and finding your phone. Last time I buy you motherfuckers ice cream. <laughs> well, you didn't. We actually ended up having to cover the bill. <laughs> it was too much for you. Who do you think will live what? the longest? <laughs> oh my. Um, out of the four of us. What are you well, Taylor's about, definitely the are healthiest. You, are you delusional? Out of all? Who do you think will live the longest? What the fuck does that mean, dude? You're 94. Who will be, who will be dead? <laughs> which three will be dead and which one will be alive? Out of the four of us. You don't have to say out of the four of us. You could just say out of the three of you. <laughs> that, that, that'd be the we easy, don't know that. That'd be the easy way to do it. There uh, might be some regenerative, regenerative things that happen in the next 20 years I where I live to 150. I think the person mm -hmm. here, obviously, that's going to live the longest, other than like freak accidents, like no freak accidents, uh, Taylor, for sure. Taylor's got, like, got youthful energy and she has... She she doesn't have like she doesn't have like the burden of like stress like there's something about it that she's just like she's, <laughs> no she's stressed but like, she's so happy go lucky maybe it's just an act that's a good point but like she's just like she has like the child's mind almost where she's just like full of energy all right guys that's all the time we have for today's podcast thank you guys for listening we'll see you guys later thank you Charlie Dixie and Jason Ash for being on the thank show thank you David we'll see you guys around my name is Jeff. Bye. <laughs>sex in my bed all you do is sleep in your bed when will we have time to creep in there and have sex in it <laughs> but now i wouldn't mind <laughs> <laughs>